is this new devilry? Hello, hello, I'm back from Wyoming, a great grand adventure, and I was thinking of all things green because it was a very, very, very green state, had a lot of good times, saw a lot of moose, saw um, pronghorns, saw a marmot, and uh, all kinds of good stories I'll get into later. So on the way back, I was thinking I had to try to make a green ramp deck that's budget friendly. So I call this big green budget um, because I was looking at those, uh, what are they called, the dragon hunter with uh, initiative and they're like nine dollars each now and i'm like yeah i'm too much of a popper to get those so i was like let me see if i can just build around that and so this is what i came up with we've got 16 lands uh the four elves the four sprawls and the four gross i know a lot of people like to go the the four two package but in this one you'll see why uh, turn four is incredibly important so really focused on that anyway thanks uh shiraz one mind step throw and chimsky everybody's here nice and early thank you for that um so anyway um uh oh, no introduction. Hello, everybody. Newbie in the format had come to the place. I know most about Popper. Good to have you there. Die on the phone. Good to have you with us. So anyway, um, we've got three fierce empaths, which go fetch all of our big fatties. We've got this guy for life. Uh, we've got the cycler, or sometimes we cast this, and then obviously the three crushers. Um, really, really liking liking trumpeting herd. I've got to give another shout out to uh, Matt Kopeck from um, uh, Brute Force MTG. He was running these, and the second I saw this card long ago, I was like, why aren't people playing that? It's a two for one, and I've really been liking it. Um, it comes, you get two, three, three bodies out of four mana. It's it's pretty awesome. Anyway, back to the list. We've got four visionaries, three Pulse of main, Thermokarst, and this is the, um, this deck can get a little flooded sometimes. We've only got 16 lands. We get there, and then you draw a land. And uh, I don't like the retraceability in options in green, and so I went with one Darksteel Pendant. We just scry at the upkeep, and uh, we usually have plenty of extra mana around, and it keeps us from flooding out, or at least double flooding, and you know, know what I mean, so you can throw stuff on the bottom. Um, yeah, and then we've got the um, Acid Moss, and believe it or not, I'm running all three uh, Claws main. It just tears apart a lot of Boros strategies and obviously fairies, and you, it, it acts as draw with the cycle here, and it does three damage to people. So it's a lot of card. A lot of people don't know about this card. I really like it, and uh, I just was like, you know what? I, every time I saw it, I liked it, and I, I just keep um, keep either cycling it or, or smashing face with it. So um, anyway, let me forget about these. Uh, oh, time to cook up something delicious. says <laughs> Bacon Master 95. Right on. Oh, in the sideboard, we're going with Macabs over anything else because we have access to four Pulse of Marasas. We've got one in our sideboard, too. So we can get this back at instant speed, discard it, and stop any sort of flicker loop combos from going crazy. Three, Weather the Storm. Um, we got a lot of life deck main because we can do we can do uh, eh, this and three of these. Sometimes that's not enough, and you just really want to take it home. We've got all four Deglamers so that we can just deal with uh, Affinity without having to really worry about destruction. We just hide it from them. And then three Archers. So... We probably, I will anticipate, we'll get, um, yeah, I've already started off my Black Sack Adventure. I had a really close loss. I was, I was crestfallen. I won the first game, lost the second, the next two. So I was like, damn it. Anyway, I'll probably, hopefully I can pull off a 4-1 with that, but uh, we shall see. And other good news, we will probably have Little Fight joining us today. My old original co-host and uh, said he might be stopping by. So let's look out for that. Hmm. All right. So, but what I meant is to say is because we're playing land destruction, um, sometimes you will get some uh, quitters. So, uh oh, talk about land destruction. We just destroyed it ourselves. We'll mulligan this. And uh, this is a little chunky. We'll keep. Um, I'll throw back this guy because we can go find him with the uh, empath there. Not the greatest hand, but we'll see what we can do here. 
I keep telling my friends about your fake commercials and how awesome they are. Oh, thank you, Mindstep Throw. I wish everybody do that. If you want to spoil them real good, send them the link to the uh, the playlist. They can see all almost 50 of them, I think, now um, in one go. I keep trying to come up with... I've got like four new ones in the in the batch, in the... In the um, uh, you know, literally the, the footage is there, the idea is there. I just can't get the scripts just right. It feels like I'm, uh, I'd am i be forcing. There's there's one one based on um, reality acid that I'm, I'm working on right now. And uh, I forget I forget what the other... We did one with uh, an Asian flair, like, noodle shop, like, God, three years ago. And I just have never, never uh, published it. Just this... I just think it would almost come across as, you know, people think we're poking fun at things the way the culture is right now. Oh, yeah, we've got some on the stack. That's a good way to put it. Well, let's... Um, I'm going to play the empath for a Tusker, actually, so we make sure to hit our mana. This is kind of a awkward... It looks like we're up against Black Garden, so they'll be gaining a lot of life. Yep. And uh, we'll see what we can do there. So bring out the... There's so many options with this style of build. Um, you can get, you know, at first I got like the, the affinity for forests golem and it was like, well, sometimes we're not really about the forest count. We're more about the enchantment and abusing the elf. So that went out. There's a spider that comes in with flash. It's like a three, four. Um, there's so many options, but a lot of them just get too cute. And I always like seeing Tusker. You draw a card, you, you accelerate your mana. There's so many good things here. So hello, hello. Good to see you. Popper Akbar. You changed your font too, I believe. All right. Missionary is pretty cool. I guess we can do that or we can do that. Uh, let me get my mana right here. We'll cycle this now. Get this guy going here. This is a pretty blah draw. We don't have any acceleration on turn one, which we usually do. But um, this way we can at least activate our pendant. And make sure. I'm not even going to mess around. I'm just going to do it right now. We don't want to see a land, so we will scry. So nice to see this nice and early. Hmm. I guess that... Uh, I'm going to bottom that at this stage. We don't have any enchantments. I'd, I'd rather just not see that. We'll attack here. Empath coming through. Woo! Man, talk about merged. Popper Gander. <laughs> Little fights in the house. Woo! All right. Good times. Good to have you with us, my friend. We've been playing lots of Diablo 4 together. He's quite the master at telling me about the skill trees and what to do when. And it can be an incredibly complex game when it comes to, like, uh, especially if you don't play it every day. All right, we like seeing this. We'll take out an empath. Yeah, he's got all kinds. I was telling him about that last week or the week before, I believe, about the uh, trials and tribulations of Little Fight. Okay. We could blow up green. I don't know if that's really going to get us much right now. I think I'd rather just get out the herd here. We've already seen a, an edict. Let's let's get some pressure going. All herd and then all pendant. Again, yeah, you can do this on your upkeep. I, I just like to exhaust my mana now and in case I forget because I'm Mr. Chatterbox. I like seeing that. We've already got one, though. So let's bottom this. We've got one in hand. It's not like we're, our life's in any danger here. That trumpeting herd is such a good card. I just love it. Okay, well, there goes one. Got to really kind of tweak out the uh, ability to keep Crusher safe. So I'll get out that Visionary, probably accelerate our mana. Or we could Acid Moss. Might have been a good call knowing that they're playing a lot of five drops with the Vampires. Okay, we can do that. That'll be a problem. Be able to mop up uh, a lot of our minuscule dudes that get out of their way of uh, edicts and such. But careful with this. You can click past it. So... All right, here we go. Cool. I drew that. Let me see. I could go three, two, three, one, two, three. You could do that. Um, we could visionary empath, I guess is the call here. Maybe I'll just go get Tusker and save a step, right? Hey, well, I guess we don't need it now. <laughs> Deck likes me today. All right, we'll sit back and probably get the board wiped here. Might be a good idea to go get. Um, well, no. Once we get once we get that online, I think we'll be all right. Okay, cast down's going down. I like that because that frees up some time for the Tusker. Ba 
Mixing it up old school. A crack rat. Down they go. I don't know if uh, scrying is better. Nah, you got a tusk here. Such a good, such a good call. All right, let me th scoop up three here. We'll cycle this. Go get land. Tusker is so hard to beat. Like the greater Tanuki, it's like similar, but not as good. Just because the card's new doesn't make it great. I like this. I like this a lot because uh, we can flood the board again, assuming they don't have uh, unearth. And before I get out my crusher. This is just the hard way to cast crusher. We're doing it honestly. <laughs> Seven. That's a really good pull there. We'll just do visionary and then the herd in case their uh, edicts go online here. Well, it might change depending on what we get here. All right. Well, might as well do this, right? I'll call green. Oh, I have a bit highlighted my message. All right. As told, newbie but busted out with mono blue. So mad I want to build mind extraction plus <laughs> planes from arrow combo. It's done. Ah, oh, I leave that for the chat. A little too, or send me an email at popagain.gmail.com if you want my opinion, but I'm sure the chat will be happy to help you there. All right, we're getting our creatures out. We don't really have much evasion. That thorn's going to be a bummer with Crusher. We've got Crusher next turn with Pulsa Marasa backup. Just not, you know, they don't need green in this list, so I'm, I'm not really using that Acid Moss until I just have nothing to do, right? Here comes one of the new cards, Lembus. Yeah, Tranquil Thicket, Madison one. Yeah, I just it's such a crucial turn one. Sometimes I've only got one mana, and I, I just can't be chanting that. So I went with the Pendant because it's just a constant effect, and I never never dislike seeing it. If we didn't have a Crusher this turn, you know, on my upkeep, I can make sure I don't see an extra land. I'm only playing 16, but with the enchantments, there's a lot, a lot of devotion to acceleration in this list, and so sometimes that's why it works, and it can also be the reason why it, it doesn't, uh, or, or it can falter. So, a better way of saying that. All right, well, we'll do this. In case our elf does show up, we're not going to need it anymore. Tap this for three and do the thing. It's probably going to die to a cast down, but we've got Marasa behind it. And we'll smash in with that elephant token next turn. And now this acid moss might pay off because they might go a little heavy handed in their sacrificing effect. Oh, never mind. If I can get if I can get it to live long enough. <laughs> Beverly or Wesley. Nice. <laughs> I got to meet Wesley, crush the Star Trek kid, a long time ago, like 1999. I used to work on a uh, fictional Star Trek spinoff show for Play TV. It was called The Prime Directive. We had all kinds of little fake commercials and stuff. Sound familiar? I think everybody's... It's a different iteration. A selfish one at that. Oh, boy. Here we go. I haven't faced this yet. Been having pretty good games against everything else, but again, it's because I get off to a fast start. We we really limped into this one. We mulliganed, and then we just played Honest Magic. When I say that, it's because we're not accelerating in anything. We're not doing any, like, cheating stuff. It was just turn three, we're doing three mana. Turn four, we're doing four mana instead of the, you know, turn two, we're doing four mana sort of stuff. Yeah, Mongrel's just a one of. I'd rather play the lands... <laughs> given that uh okay three four i'm gonna get out some uh beats here so i can protect stuff from edicts and such well no, let me do this we'll we'll grab uh marasa for the for the man boy we can almost do everything with the uh with this dude right we'll scry make sure we're not going to draw an extra land here don't need this bottom now on upkeep, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so now I can start doing it on every upkeep. Just kind of nice keeps keeps me from from getting out of the woods here. Hey, these elephant tokens are really helping out, keeping up with all this removal we're running into. They do have an edict, but at this point, it's uh, sort of useless. Some beets. That's one of the only foods I don't like. Mine staff throw. I think. Oh. Here's the here's the uh, budget version. I mean the non-budget version of this list, right? Somewhat. 
I wouldn't say a compliment. I mean, it uh, hurts the mana base, the same color and everything. It's just, I don't know, a 3-3. A three, three, I'd rather be doing more with my mana, like adjusting each draw with the pendant. So um, I'm pretty settled on the pendant being the answer. Might even put two in there at some point, but... Oh, I'm sorry. Mine stepped rope. <laughs> sorry about that, guys. Thank you for not letting me ramble on there. Mine stepped roll with, like, getting all defensive about stuff. Now, if I attack with everything, he's got too many good blocks there. Won't make any sense. Okay. Rebound. Again, we're going to click slowly. I think we're going to lose this first game. They've got seven cards. The draw engine. Curious if I should just power this out now. Oh, I was I was going to do that on upkeep and I forgot. We'll do this again. Boop. And I'm just going to do it now, just so I don't. So I can still do it on the upkeep if I remember. We're going to say bottom here. Could go crazy with the land destruction plan, but I'm not going to right now. They got seven cards in hand. I'm pretty sure that crusher's going down. Yep, there he goes. But now we're pretty much anything we draw, we can cast and have fun with. So. Any enchantments or uh, lands, we're just going to keep throwing to the bottom of the list. Woo! Big UFC fight tonight. I'm not sure if I'm going to get it. Wife's friend has been staying here house-sitting while we were in uh, Wyoming. Great, great, amazing state. So open. I just, those Grand Teton Mountains. I went to Yellowstone. We went to Yellowstone first, and uh, Old Faithful, we, we saw it. It was pretty underwhelming. Everything around it was pretty awesome. Like I was, I was, uh, there, there's lots of other little things like a hundred yards away from all faithful. That is like this cerulean blue, just hole in the ground with just calcification. It's just this beautiful azul pool of just, Oh, it was just so cool. My wife took most of the pictures and, um, just, you know, smell of rotten eggs and blah, blah, blah. But we quickly, Went to the uh, and stayed the rest of the vacation at the Grand Tetons uh, Mountains, and that's straight out of Middle Earth. I mean, the 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 mountains are, they're like they're drawn like with just a sharp scalpel. It's just everything's like looks obsidian based and just the most majestic. And it makes the scale just blows your mind. You see like this. It looks like maybe a mile of forest, and then the and then the wall of mountains. And yet we would go to spot after spot after spot and walk miles and miles and miles, see all these lakes and, and crazy big lakes, like as big as Lake Tahoe, and then come come back around. And then we we driving away, we're like, where are the lakes? You, you can't see anything. When I was on the plane, I looked down, you can't see it. It's, it's the scale is so th it throws your your logic off so bad that you just, you know, if you were planning an expedition, you would really screw it up because you'd just be like, oh, we've got this. It's like, no, you don't. All right. I don't want to see a defile here. But it probably means they don't have one. Obviously, they'd play it if they instead of discarding here. So it's a bit of a free look into their hand. Okay, I'm going to remember this time. Let's look into the future. All right, we like this. We'll say top. Let's see if they got an answer for this this time. We're going to get just out crushed with um, what's happening with. We can't really attack. We can't really do anything here. Crush is just going to run into the uh, thorn. That's not going to be going to be a little underwhelming here. So. We'll try to go with a land destruction plan. I don't know. Do, 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 do. Bam! Boy, they just have it every time. That's what happens when you hold initiative that long and cast... I mean, I have deadly dispute after deadly dispute. So I should probably keep track of our time here and maybe ship this one back. I'll see what I, we're going to draw and then we're going to... Um, Black Garden... So actually... As a player, I don't want I don't want to see this this list because you know it's a little bit more on the the pricey side, but it'll be neat if we can end up pulling this off. But we have to have a faster start than we did. I mean, Mulligan into like, you know, now we just got useless cards. At this stage of the game, it's useless. You know what? I'm gonna ship it. We're gonna watch our time. We'll go to game two. They just there's just too much advantage here. Actually, we might have been able to run them out of cards and go with a life engine, right? Go that route. Okay, not too worried about this, this, or this. Um, thermal cars package. I think I'm going to get rid of... Um, let's run something like this. We'll bring in another Marasa. Don't think we have too much to worry about with the sideboard. Yeah, I don't want to overboard. We're just going to bring in the one. Just so we have extra life in case... 
as I could see right there, decking might be a thing, right? Because they're drawing so many cards. I know Limbos can kind of keep them out of doing that, but not indefinitely. It can happen. Yes. All right. Again with no mana. Isn't that weird? All right. Second game we mulligan. We'll keep this one. If we have a land, we've got a really nice kickstart with land destruction here. One more land's all we need. We'll keep. Uh, we won't be seeing him for a while. We've got plenty of ways to find him. We'll do this. We'll bring out our wild growth. Yeah, I looked into that end to just... I just always like rather see the Tusker. I know it costs more, but it also draws you a card, and then it ends up being a... I know that's like the flavor on everybody's tongue this week. Like, oh, have you tried it? Have you tried it? And it's like, yeah. Some decks, it's good. I didn't like it. I lived in Texas for a summer, but it should be a, with an asterisk because it was South Padre Island. And I had to drive from there to California, and I was in Texas for three of the days of the five, I think, that it took to drive that. <laughs> it's a big place, especially when you go diagonally across it. All right, well, we're just going to go all in here. I'll throw this down, throw this down. Deck wants to fight us, fine. We'll go get a land next turn. <laughs> Acid Moss, drop a Sprawl, keep moving. Woo! Try to keep him off the big mana. It's as good as playing as any. Might work well. Boy, we just have all kinds of land destruction. We might get a concession here and have a game three without even having to do much. We'll get this out. Comes into play tapped, I forgot. Shucks. Yeah, it's a good card for cycling and stuff. You know what? I've seen a... Uh, I used to run... What was it called? Igneous Pouncer in my Exhum list with Rakdos. And so those, those are always on the tip of my tongue as far as, like, you know, design constraints. Because you can turn two, you know, have a 5-1 haste. That ain't nothing to sneeze at. All righty. Well, we've got extra mana. Hold on. Let's make this count for more. We'll do here. Call green. Might as well, right? We'll blow this up, um, boop, and then we'll cycle this. Even when they don't face flyers, I tend to keep this in the list. I just like seeing it. Cycle. If we get anything out, we're going to be fine. I like this because we can double play this despite what we play here. Yeah, and there's a lot of parts of just America in general, like any state you go to. I used to have relatives in Texas. I still have relatives in Texas, but they didn't believe me when I told them it snows here a lot. And they're like, what? They think of it as one big beach. I think everybody thinks of Texas as just a bunch of cowboy hats and desert. And it's like where Little Fight's going. When I looked it up, I was it's incredibly lush. And I was like, whoa, there's, there's parts of it that are, you'd think you're in Wyoming or something. You know, it's like everything's really green, a lot of water. And just excited for my buddy starting a whole new world just ex very cool well we've got some goods here i don't think we've got enough do we almost there so let's blow some stuff up Bloop. keep them off mana and we'll get a edict bait out i'm sure they've got four cast downs in their hand if expensive cards are your problem just keep kicking out the land from your opponent and you'll be fine well we can do that right it's five, six, seven. We can just play the uh, Boulder Branch Golem. This is such a house. Gain six life. Rawr. Animate rocks. Bop, 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 bop. And I say this every week, but boy, am I going to be online a lot. But it might not be magic. It might be Diablo 4 with said company in-house little fight. I swear, him and my son could give lessons on how to play Diablo 4. You can just play it normally and just be kind of a dunce like I am, or you can really go hardcore and with certain builds and just getting everything just right and, and stuff, and it's it's amazing the payoffs that, it, that happens with that. So I've tried Popper Commander. I'm liking our ratio here. We just have to get some meat out real quick. Hopefully we can keep them off lands here. Well, that's sort of a land, right? Okay. 
I'm really going to pick on that. I will favor, if I can blow up that swamp, I will over the uh, getting a, uh, the golem out. Proper commander with Psychotog as your general. <laughs> it's funny, I was just showing Aaron where Psychotog debuted. So right, we were coming back from the airport right near LAX, and there's a Radisson right there. And remember with my buddy uh, Paul Grassoff, we went, it was like Pro Tour... I think it was 2002 or three or something. And I've told the story before, but I was in the room when, you know, there was one guy playing it. I forget who, who got credit for it, but everybody was, there was the upheaval psychotog combo from long ago. And they're like, whoa, well, we can do it. I just, I'm afraid they've got the cast down. Is that any way to live? I don't think so. Let's see if they've got it. They might not have it. Maybe they just have defile and edicts, right? Ah, oh, yeah. I miss Extended. That was a cool format. Talk about aging yourself, right? All these modern players are like, hey, what? What'd you say? Oh, man, of course they got it. Dang it. Okay, well, we'll play that Golem and hope for the best. No lands. Sort of a land. That's just, this is plenty of land. In case they do have some sort of land trick, I don't want to really overextend too much here. I'll just play this. Bloop. Gain six life. Come on over for two. Yeah, I've been hearing about that, Nintimski. In fact, oh, I heard it from you, if that's right. I have two people sent me that, including yourself. So it's probably not one I'll play. Just Those are so click intensive and such, but. Yeah, those food tokens. When Limbus came out, that was one of the main reasons I gave it the nod over like Icar Wellspring and stuff was it's it's type food. But so far so good. And they still have three men, dang it. Okay. Now they've got four mana. Boy, they just, they got our number with crit critters, don't they? Black Garden's very good at keeping the board clean. I was thinking of brushing off, um, geez, um, that kind of says that they have an edict. I was thinking of brushing off my RG Tempo list. I know, it, maybe go back to the drawing board sort of thing, right? Well, if they have an edict, they're probably not going to waste it here. Or maybe they will. <laughs> Come on, anything. I really want to see the pendant show up. I mean, it'll prevent these dead draws from happening. Alrighty. Boy, they really want a clear board. Oh, they probably got a thorn and they're waiting for that land, so they, they want to be able to keep an, uh, keep the monarch here. Not boating well, even though we really kicked their legs out from under them, but they've got enough cheap removal that's keeping us... Well, we, we've done only two damage, so... That's the Limbus we're talking about. Alrighty, 15 minutes to go. Oh boy, don't want that. Maybe they've got a duress or something, so we'll yield through this turn. Come on, Dark Steel Pendant, where are you? I'm telling you, sometimes if I was th the last minute thinking of playing two of them, because I, I really like seeing them. Not right away, but right around now, and that's two might be, maybe that'll be my what did we learn. Dark steel dependent, nice Nimchimsky. Yeah, they they're gonna they they lasted long enough. They kept things off the board, and now here comes the advantage engine. And I almost guarantee you, I'll draw one of these or a or a forest. Not to sound like negative Nancy, it's just when the bad beats or the, happen, it, it comes in droves. So, got sixteen lands, and here comes another one. Yep, I knew it. All right, we're gonna ship this up. Dead draw, dead draw, dead draw. I only have sixteen lands. Frustrating. But instead of lurking on the uh, negative, we're just going to jump right back in and hopefully we get a better draw. Not a good showing for that one. I took this to a challenge, gosh, like four years ago, a version of this. But I had, um, what was the, uh, it had like Pernumbra Spiders in it and, uh, you know, the Affinity for Forests guy. But I was playing Nisa's pilgrimage 
um, having a lot of went more of that route than the, than the sprawl. And, you know, sometimes you could put out like three forests in one turn and really, you know, gut your deck. And then if you draw that, that forest walk golem, it's like a seven, seven or something or seven mana. I think it's a five, seven and affinity for forests. And a lot of times you could just drop it. Thank you for that. Nimchimsky. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty nasty card. If you, if you design for it. All right. We want to play first. Let's have a, there we go. This is what I'm used to. We've had double mulligans both games, so it's nice to see an honest draw here. We've got a one, two, three play. We're feeling good. Altasaur over Crusher. Um, no, I wouldn't. I would. I would probably the, the claws, and I'd, I'd I'd trim some edges there. It would be a nice card to have, but. I played the traditional ramp and I was able to beat it yesterday. It's just that typical, you know, I've got one less color dependent and can be a little bit faster. And then those three threes get online quick. You blink and then it's a six, six or two, three threes. And, you know, then you start blowing stuff up and dropping good stuff right behind it. So yeah, running both might be cool. Although what's the, um, I've never been too big of a fan of, I think you have to build a completely different type of deck with the Ultasaur. Like it's it's just so lame to just walk right into an Arbor Elf with your Cascade effect. I'm, I guess it's the free spell who's got to complain, right? But just never been too big of a fan of that. Okay, looks like now I will be picking on this land because Heroic tends to not be. Uh, they tend to keep hands that are very. Uh, what's the word? <laughs> They just they're just mana light a lot of times. Like they'll keep a one lander and stuff. So hopefully this will pay some dividends. If not, we'll just walk into a visionary, hopefully find a thing, and maybe they'll rely on their flyer once they get two mana and our claws might actually do something here. Yeah, I ran a list like that named Chimsky about two years back, I think. Obviously now we gotta worry about our uh, journey to nowhere. Or the um, Celest Celestial Flare, I think. We're two white mana to sacrifice an attacker. Be careful with our uh, our dude here. All right, we'll, we'll accelerate our mana here. Hopefully we just top deck a land when I drop this Visionary. Visionary, come on, give me a land. I'll even take an enchantment. I'll, I'll deal with you. Okay, cool. Thank you for listening, deck. Ha! Ah, I think we'll just play herd here. Yeah, I've tried to make onslaught work in goblins so many times. Just in the end, you know, you there's so many goblins that do that, like with the heel cutter, and then there's the little the little one drop red that I played the very last time we played a, go a goblins list. Bum, bum, bum. I mean, I've got plenty of tickets to get those Avengers and stuff. I just, I just can't see spending that much on on one card. So, and I'm not too eager to really build around it. The contrarian in me is just like, oh, we'll just do it this way. All right, let's. Hmm. Let's cut off their land permanently. Stop these shenanigans from going down. Marasol keep us in this. Come on now. All right. There we go. No reason to do anything else here. Hmm. Another card I really like in this style is a uh, Sakura Tribe Elder. And what's the other one? Um, oh, it's one of my favorite cards. Dang it. Man, that thing's getting huge. It's a Curve Tribe Elder, and then there's, um, mm. gosh darn it, it goes and gets a land, or you could sacrifice something to draw a card. Ah, I can't, can't quite remember what that card's called, but all right, we're taking six. Oh, nice, Nimchimsky. Yeah, I should just bug you to borrow some for a show or two, and then go that route. We're going to have to start letting stuff go here. I'm going to keep picking on their lands because we don't really have much else to do here. We'll get our land out and I'll throw that uh, visionary in front of that 
just so we can have a play here. I guess I can always um, Marasa back the visionary, draw a card off of it. I'm going to start having to sacrifice these herd tokens just to stay alive. <laughs> well said, little fight. Yeah, I like posing questions even outside of the magic to everybody here and getting kind of that wall of influence. Three planes down. Hopefully this will pay off. I can stay alive long enough. Stop these heroics. So hard to stop with the destruction plan, even though they run mana light. It's, you can see almost everything in the deck costs one, which I've always been a big fan of. I love building stuff that way. Let's do this. We're going to get some life back, draw a card. I'll block again. Just have to draw cards here. I've got plenty of Alter Swords. I'm just talking about the initiative guys. They're, they're the expensive ones. I got everything else. I honestly thought when initiative came out, I think there, you could probably find a clip of me saying it. I thought there's no way this is, this is going to last three weeks. They're going to ban it. And I was kind of right. <laughs> they kept the two colors. And I got to say, if, you know, they've done a lot of right moves. I still would like to see the flicker loop combo ended permanently and maybe... Like I said, you, you go up against a good, a very good Tron pilot, it seems unbeatable, even if you bring in like 15 cards of absolute hate. They still wiggle around it. All right, our mana is online. We'll block here. Staying alive. More bait. All right, time to bring out the herd. Again, it's just going to be buying us time. Really want to see Crusher show up here. This will help. One, two, three, four. First, I want to get my defense up. I'll bring this out. Again, we're just going to be truly just throwing these in front of this, this big creature. I guess I could wait a turn or so, but I'll do this. These are so good against, like, uh, Skyfisher and Glinthawk decks, and, they, you know, they get the – that. there's always that all-in turn when they get, you know, flashback the, the um, Battle Screech, and then you're just like, bam, green lightning, take – take three and kill your entire team okay i don't really dislike this draw but we really don't need that arbor elf do we with vigilance it's just these elephant tokens are kind of useless so i'll let i'll let one go you know if actually if i let that through it might be a better play okay we've got another target problem is that they probably got by now a one drop worthy of that trailblazer. Mind stab throw, that sounds nasty. Okay, well, he wants to play that game. I'll let six through and kill the other dude. Oh, cool. A little reprieve from the governor. All right, cool. Boop, boop, boop. Again, never yield here because you'll just get half the token. Woo. Boy, was that a set, man. What was that set again? The um, Double Masters, or I forget what the official name was. One, two, three. We'll blow this up. Stop any shenanigans from happening. Boom. Time to cycle. Really like to uh, hit a pendant here. Time to cycle. Pendant, pendant. All right. We'll do this. Our mana's fine. I'm not doing nothing. Let these guys go. Boy, at this stage, I'll probably block with the Arbor Elf. I've got plenty of mana to cast whatever we draw here. We're in top deck mode. All they need is like a, you know, pro green, and they're just... They're just in this. It's a strange choice. Hmm. Well, I'll throw this in front of it. Again, we've got enough mana to just top deck a crusher here, so Arbor Elves are least of our worries. Modern Horizons, that was it. Thank you, sir. Oh, boy. I can feel a lot of forests coming our way, even though we've played more than half of them. And we're not halfway through our list yet. Just 
biding time. If we get a crusher out and they don't have an answer for it, it, it can be a, it. It'll really turn around quickly. Gosh, at this point, even the the little fetch dude. Oh man. Oh boy. Death nail. We can draw that artifact, dude. Pull some Marasa to get back a visionary. We're going to need some help here because this is a two-turn clock. Nothing we can do here. Come on, Crusher off the top. Let's all think Crusher off the top. Crusher off the top. Of course, they've got journey math now, but Crusher off the top. Ah, oh, come on, List. God damn it. <laughs> ah. All right, Whoa, this is heroic. Ultra wins. Good Lord, where was our stuff? All right. Wirewood. Let's trim three of these out. Stay alive with this plan. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to bring him back in two of these, I think. Oh, there's not going to be all that many plays with Weather the Storm here. I'll keep these two in for the cycle ability here. I think I'll probably, for the what would we learn, I'll probably go to two of these main and, and have two pendants. That might be the cut or the concession I'll make. I don't know why I just don't do it mid-show. I'll do that maybe, see how it feels. Yes. Good hand, good hand. We'll keep. You like this. I just don't want to see a trailblazer turn one, but I don't think the glamour is worth it. They, they get the bonus boosts on it, and I'm outside of an ethereal armor. Could be wrong. Just one for wanting a deck like that. And it's temporary. It's not like it's getting rid of the creature. Very easy to splash a color in a style like this, but I used to run one that had two sandstorms main and one mountain and very similar build, but that was back when elves was the biggest problem for this list, so it's been quite a few years. And, of course, they got the one turn out. Boop. Ooh, please stand by. <laughs> yeah, thank you for that little fight. I might have to troubleshoot with my buddy. He's very good, my old tech support, because I thought I had fixed this issue, and it's uh, just a weird little blink out there. All right, well, this feels like deja vu from last game. Let's see if we can keep this going. Thank you to Geo Ultra, my opponent, for letting us stick around, hopefully for a victory. Come on, come on. We got the life going. Should have glanced at the uh, CPU usage there, but oh well. Hopefully I don't have to splice this together. If once in a while the show will do that, and I, I get two chunks, and so I have to import, export both of them and stuff. Or maybe I won't export that first the first loss, right? <laughs> if I can pull this one off, be like, look, we were undefeated, wink, wink. All right, Frank Young guy. Very nice. Thank you for the hype, my friend. All right, this is like exactly like last game. And, oops, I lost game one. We'll just start it here. Be like, wow. Where's my cool intro, man? We've got time to uh, develop here. Drop a visionary. Bring this out. Do this. Visionary. And draw. Okay, cool. We've got an acid moss. Want some of our big dudes to show up. Technically, we've got six Olmogs Crusher because we've got the three fetch dudes. Alrighty. Here comes Sentinel's Eyes. Bop, 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 bop. Mine's tab throw with the hype. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah, we got to have to kind of... I'll let this in for now. It's just there's a, there's a point you have to start blocking because if Benevolent Blessing shows up, then it's like... Only two swings and you're dead, as if we blocked earlier. You, plus, we've got the uh, Marasa food there. So, all right, that's four, five, six. Let's do. I think I'm going to block with that guy this turn. And then I'll cycle the wirewood. I think that's the uh, line I want to take. Well, Acid Moss here. And we'll. Block with Visionary, use its ability, cycle the uh, Wirewood, and then have a big blocker. Well, ne never mind that. First strike, 6-5, maybe. We'll see. At least we'll be able to get around um, 
yeah, effects like this. As they get bigger, the Pulsum Ross, I'll buy us a few turns, especially with that branch column there. Okay. Well, there's things just going to be able to be pro green again. We're going to be taking six. That will suck. It's nice to see land destruction kind of viable. No big surprise. I mean, people need their lands, right? It's for the longest time, it just didn't work. Most finicky deck I've ever seen is mono black land destruction. That thing can have like the most blowout game, and then the very next time just be dead in the water. I see no reason why they wouldn't call green here. Pro green, taken six. If our big dudes don't show up, we're going to be in trouble. We'll be gaining 12 life with the Pulsum Rasa Golem combo. First we'll play it, and then we'll slay it. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay. We can't block, so we might as well have some fun. Let's do this now. We'll um, tap this. Probably thinks we've got some fog effect. It's like, nope. We're just cycling away a card. Non-blue control. Yeah, I'm a fan of that. I call it a blue blitz. I just kind of go all in on that stuff. It's fine. That thing, two card, or two, two turn clock now, dang it. Boom, boom, cycle. Yield. All right, there's a real card. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more, one more card. Come on, come on. Not that. All right, let's gain some life here. Five, six. Just gonna let, have to let this dude die. Seven. Cast it. Give us our life back, dang it. Woo! A control deck that runs no blue. So, oh, I see. A white fate. <laughs> Definitely catch him for a few turns, that's for sure. Happy to block here. Let's see him give protection from artifacts. Now we're safe. We'll let this die. We'll pull some Arasa and Acid Moss next turn. I just hope he doesn't have any sort of a... I just don't want to see another plane here. Going to be gaining a whole lot of life. Block here. Save. We'll gain six. We're going to get another six with Marasa. It's funny when Little Fight texted me about an hour before the show. He's like, hey, I might be able to drop in. And I'm like, this is like... I think the last time he was here was the last time I played this kind of list, and then I've I've kind of have an old show mopped out, like a lot of our old promos and stuff. So I could just picture him just kind of rolling his eyes, like, "Oh boy, not much has changed." But I was like, "Well, I can't change the show up for one person. Got to stay on schedule." If you haven't seen it, it's new to you. But between him and Shiraz, they've seen everything. This is gonna take some wiggling. Our crusher's not gonna do too much other than be. Uh, glorified uh, disenchant, right? All right. This is a good draw. Let's see. That's 2 4 6. We've we've got the uh we've got the crusher here. I don't think I want to do it yet though. We'll do this. We'll go get this dude back. Alrighty, we'll untap this. We'll do this and this. Let's blow this up. We'll crush next turn. We're at 19 outside of a... Uh... Yeah, don't really have much there. All right, I'll let that visionary go to go to waste. Hopefully they, they're out of these emerge scathe effects. He joined us a... He dropped in once or twice, but I mean, when he was just my regular co-host, that was uh, back when that happened. All right. 
our man is fine. I'd much rather have a guy die than take 10. It's half of our life. And we have fought very hard to get back in this game. So let's see if we can pull this off. Two. Four. Six. Eight. Is that the best way to roll? Let's try it. It'll probably die. And by probably, I mean it will. Got a few options here. Don't play a land. Don't play a land. Crusher's not going to be that impressive. I'm going to let this in. I mean, he's, he is going to be able to block it. Probably losing Sentinel's Eyes and the Warrior token. It's going to feel pretty underwhelming. And then we're, it's going to get first strike. It can't really help that. If we get a Marasa here. It's going to feel really good. All right. Or that. Let's do, let's see where everything falls after I attack. Pretty sure he's going to lose the Sentinel's Eyes and the, the token. A little bit of progress. Two, four, six, seven. I can cast the Visionary and the Golem. Whoa. All right, well, they misclicked. I've been guilty of doing that. There's a big oops. We're going to get a concession here. Probably. Looks like we're going to game three. Hopefully they stick around and don't quit. I don't know how you can, you just can't get away from this board now. I'll just end it this turn. Not quite sure what our opponent was thinking there, but we'll get this back. Would have been close. I think we might have been able to get there. We'll see. All right. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to listen up here. We'll bring in. We'll bring in the full set here. Listen to my uh, co-pilot named Chimsky there. Bring those in. Really like the uh, package here. Maybe get a few of these gone. So we are not the aggro here. Oop. Yeah, I really think that I should have gone with two of these. I almost always want to see them. Don't want to see them in my opener, but boy, around turn four or five, it would be really nice to see. All righty. It's a pretty good hand. I can't say no to this hand. It'd be really nice if one of these was an elf, but I'm not going to get too crazy. What's the largest creature in Popper? Oh, boy. Forget what that one is. Um... I think there's a bigger one. Yeah, yeah, there's the 1010 dude that just came out. Oh boy. Talk about nice top deck, right? Walk right into an acid moss early. Yeah, I think it's the Rusk Goliath. Hmm. I keep working on this infect reanimator with that 5 1 infect. And you're able to go get it with, uh, oh, what's that? There's so many little tricks with that deck. Love it. All right, let's see if Land Destruction will get there. Punt aside, I think we would have had that game. It felt like we had enough life gain to stay in it. We could keep blocking and then uh, hopefully bring back the uh, Crusher. All right. Got this like a rinse repeat episode here. We really have to go with the uh, Acid Moss plan. How do we do that, you say? I'll show you folks. Woo! We'll go like this. The most typical play. These are actually pretty expensive. When I said it was a budget list, I was like, whoa, those are like $2 each. Just going to max out our mana and accelerate. This is why ramp wins. Scenarios like this, you're, you're at a disadvantage. If, if, if they, I mean, this is about the quickest deck you can play against. This or goblins or something, but um, just that they're... they're we're going to have two, four, six, seven mana to their maybe none. Pretty hard to come out from that. Even if you have a, a bit of tempo and board advantage. One life spell, one good block, and you're, you're feeling pretty good. Come on, no land, no land. I think we would have seen it. There's so many one-drop interactions there. I don't know why they would wait yet. Okay. Woo, this keeps getting better and better. All right, let's do a... 
Let's bring this dude out. We've got a blocker in case an enchantment shows, or unless an enchantment shows up. We'll bring this out. And we're going to have all kinds of elephants. All kinds of elephants, I say. Whoo. Big surprise. Blue gets the cake, right? Yeah, let it fight. There is something weird with OBS and Magic Online. I've been having, I think in the last five shows, we've had three episodes of, of similar things like that where it'll freeze up MTGO. And I looked in the some OBS riddles and had a little ticket claim in, on their Discord, and this robot helped me, and it, it worked great last week, but this week uh, I'll have to see if it's... A lot of times it has to do with the audio rate of a lot of my videos, if they clash, which I thought I'd fix that because my um, mic... I mean, my, the mic on the camera is was the problem, so I completely turned that off in all the specs and then kept it to this one because that, that was interfering, and I thought that was the issue because it worked fine last week, but... I guess not, but I load so many different videos. Maybe there's a new one that's doing the same problem. So I got to look into that. Apologies. I will keep suffering through and making them work via editing. It's just take my streams will take a little bit longer there, guys. We got all kinds of love here. We'll start smashing through pretty soon. Come on, where's our crusher now, right? And I'm going to make that um, dark steel switch immediately after this match. Spirit Link. Not too bad. We can just block this. And lose an elephant. There are more on the way. Trust me on that. Well, that's strange. They don't really have protection here. It is first strike. So we'll just go like this. In this case scenario takes that out. Boom. Right? Three, six, seven. Yep, there we go. I'll gain three. Lose all the tempo. We've got more elephants on the way. Should call it Green Zoo, right? Boop a doo. Two elves is enough. You gain your life there, sir. Clicking slowly. Bonk. More elephants. Yay. Crunch. Attack. Whoa. I don't care about my elves. Let's go. Those elephants sure add up. All right, we got an even game. Even. Got all these resources. They have no power now. Looks like we're going to pull even with a loss and a win. We got run over by Black Garden game one. Let's see what they have here. Bodyguard showing up. All right. Well, glad it can't target lands. Really good example if you take the old bodyguard from, I think, Odyssey and then uh, put it up to this one. This one's so bright. It's like an alabaster versus just the traditional white. So we'll just blow this up. Might as well. I'll just put it on this. Maybe we should scare them. Call red or something. Yeah, let's just do it. Okay. I will probably lose an elf here, but I got quite a bit of uh, judgment. That's the one. I can lose two elves here if they're smart about it. Yep. Oh, or not. They're going to still lose something. All right. Looks like we pull this one off. Again, those elephants just keep coming. It's kind of like the set and forget mentality. I really I don't know why they're going through with the tap land approach here. Example of when a step isn't wanted, right? It's probably had like a, a one mana answer to stay alive. But all right. Let's hopefully we don't have any more uh, internet hiccups. Hey, what's going on here? Why is my stuff all moving around and jumping around screens here? Boop, boop, boop. All right, let's bring this down over here. Go to tournament practice. Let's get in another one. I don't need a... Uh, oh, 
hold on. We're going to make that change right now, and I will update it so that um, the link will reflect that as we move forward in, um, what do you call, uh, when people go to download the deck list. All right, so I want to add, add one more of these, get rid of one of these. That's the list I want. I will cross off that I have done that for the whole what would you learn segment, right? Join up here. Boop, big green. We'll see how we do. Yeah, I'll go over the deck list here for those of you that are joining us mid to late. Yeah, really, really liking this uh, Dark Steel Pendant. Decks like this, you're always going to run into that issue where you have too many lands. Because if you really look at it, we're playing 24 lands because we've got this spot and this spot devoted to lands with 16. So you can get flooded even though you only have 16. I count this and the Utopia Sprawl as a flood. Look at that gorgeous land. Pretty hard to beat John Avon, isn't it? All right. We're kind of screwed here. We're going to mulligan this. And we like this hand. Keep. We'll get rid of the Crusher. And we'll rock it off to a wild growth start. And see what we can see. Looks like we're up against one of the many red decks that are popular right now. They seem to be everywhere. Hmm. I know it's funny, Little Fight chose now to like kind of get out of magic, and it's like he's always been a, a red mage at heart, and it's like easily dominating the format, right? Oh, I've never seen this land before. That is cool. Very nice. Okay, really want to see a Marasa show up. Keep us in this one, right? Let's stop any sort of attacking. Maybe. We'll see. There's a Marasa. Ooh, that's pretty. Just that. Uh, it just looks old in a good way, you know? So this way we can accelerate our mana and have a blocker for Kessig. <laughs> Famous last words. Bye-bye. We take two regardless. Is it going to be more? We shall see. I'm going to drop that herd. We're still at a pretty safe life total. Don't really need acceleration because we've got double forest in our hands, so I'll drop out both herds. And three threes are surprising in this format. I was having a long talk with Matt from uh, Brute Squad Games or Brute Force Games out of San Diego when we went to the Popper 1K. We're discussing how just, it's just a very, very powerful number in this in this format right now. Trumpeter. All the cannonade effects and stuff just requires real removal, and you're getting two for one out of the card. Just, you know, it reminds me of Call of the Herd. How much was Call of the Herd? It was two and a green, and it flashed back for three and a green, I believe. I hope I got that wrong. Look at that card, little fight. Woo! Uh oh. Damage incoming. Two, three. Could go get that. Could get that, too. Lock back. Oh, and a Kiln Fiend. Interesting. No attackies. This is making me nervous. Oh, I think we'll go... Has he got like a mutagenic here? Let me guarantee I kill something here. Yep. Mutagenic. All right. Originally from Portal, says Nimtimsky. All right. We take three, they take two. We get another one. Bonk. Sure wish this was technically a creature so we could keep getting it back with Marasa because it's pretty fun when it works. All right, guys, what are we going to do here? I gotta have to respect that. Two mountains is just as bad as that. Might have a fire blast behind it. That's Marasa now. Wait a minute here. Did I play a land this turn? Turn four. I played a forest. Okay, I have, so that one won't make too much sense. Let's stay alive here. Eh, awkward little turn there, but whatever. Two men in the hand. Let's see if we can kill stuff. Four, five. Not what I want to see. More free draw, free mana. 
And you look at this list, and between the Golem and the three Pulse of Morales' main, you're like, oh, you got red handled. It's like, no, you don't. <laughs> Especially one of the Kiln Fiend variety. That's like certain death for us with a Kiln Fiend because we don't really have removal. We, we plan on uh, Omog's Crusher going in for the win and mopping up everything, right? All right, well, I'll try to get rid of Big Bad Fatty here because these guys are scary, but this is way scarier. A scalding slap of chaos. Woo! Uh-oh. Well, they're still taking two. We're preventing six. Our little elephant dies. Elephants have uh, kept us in this game. My goodness, I don't really want to see that. Yeah, if I cycle... Hmm. If I play Visionary, if I cycle this... Let me cycle here. I think we're losing this one. One and one. Grab the land. Cycle. All right. We'll do this, we'll do this, we'll do this. We'll get a blocker out of the way. Let me call red just so they're confused in game two. <sighs> Probably sight out the land destruction. It's, it's, it's a frustrating, between like fire blast and lava dart. It's a lot of mana for little effect. There are games you're going to catch them marooned or whatnot, but I um, really like that golem to show up here. All right. Oh, we'll definitely block one of these and try to get rid of them. Have to boogie. All right. Hey, Little Fight, we on for Diablo 4 later tonight, or are you gonna? Are you busy? Great to see you too, my friend. Oh, wow. Wiggled out of that one. All right. Well, I just call these, all of these lists, just RDW. Well, that's it for that one. I guess they didn't want any of our uh, Weather the Storm sideboard, right? Okay, guys, I'm going to roll the Pictionary real quick, get some coffee. I'll be right back. It were there that I lost me dear Silhana. She walked her last ledge, but folks, me loss is your gain. So it's in her memory, Silhana's Window Walkers was created. The finest window scrubbing in all of Ravnica. Cleaning where only flyers dare to soar. Be reminded that they won't be getting blocked by new high prices with us, John John. Don't be getting blocked by high prices, Silhana's Window Walkers. Your pack member since 1906. And we're back. All right, we got a decent hand. We've been having some really tough openers. Maybe that one switch to the uh, two by, what do you call it? Dark Steel is going to help out here in a weird sort of way. All right, we'll lead off with this. That way, if we top deck a forest, we've got all kinds of options. If not, we've got awkwardness. <laughs> the Grotto. Ooh, is this some sort of Tron? Usually Grotto signals Tron. Great, great card, though. Land. No. Well, we'll just do this here. Set it up for next turn. Call green. Call green. Boop. And yes. Oh yeah, mindset throw. Yeah, that's a game my son and I play every once in a while. On uh, the TV, flings. I think it's Notability or some some drawing program, and we just tried it because your fingers make it so crude. Everybody's drawings look like they're you know four years old or something, and it's really funny after the fact when you know what they're 
what the card was. You're like, oh, I see it now and what people focus on. So we had so many built up. It was just like, oh, we'll just do this thing here. All right. Let's blow this up. Bloop. God, I love, I hope Tron quits. It's one of the few times I just, it's like, eat it. Boom, boom. Now we'll put on the pressure with the herd here. You know, every once in a while, it's really, really obvious. We have a Pulsar Marasa in one of them. I don't know about the other ones. Oh, the Pictionary version. <laughs> yeah, I'm that way too, especially when you get multiple variations and stuff. Funniest one was um, Palace Guard. I think it can block any number of creatures. It's two and a white. And my son focused on the foreground. There's this guy that's just dead on the ground, and I've never seen it. You know, it's not like I see the card all the time, but I was just like, are you kidding me? Oh, God, we're so close here. All right, let's cycle this. We'll crush her next turn and maybe get a concession. This is kind of, you know, of course, when I'm not streaming, these are the kind of hands I just seem to get a lot. We are only three games in, but I just figured I'd have a lot more of uh, these sort of awesome combos. Let's do this. Oh, Morasa back in the uh, Tusker. We'll play the, uh, the dude here. Come on over for three. Ooh, tempo's feeling good. Afraid of a cast down. Sometimes uh, Tron can have some nice removal because it has ac access to every color. We'll try to keep that at a minimum with our land destruction. The original gangster one. That's right. All right, let's go. These elephants are nothing to sneeze at. Woo! All right. I'm sure they know what was in our hand or can deduce a little bit of that, but uh, ah, what to bring in here, guys? Let's see. We can lose the claws. It's a nice just draw option. Probably lose a Marasa. I'd like to bring in all my Fae in case there's, we know there's going to be graveyard shenanigans eventually. Could probably go down to one Tusker. Kind of like this. Yeah, it, had I a crystal ball, I would have forced everything to be popper metagame specific with Pictionary. But it is nice because everybody plays different formats and stuff, and so it makes it makes it pretty fun there. All right. Now again, I talk about this a lot. Am I? I like this opening hand because I saw the pendant. I'll be honest with you. It's like turn two, boop, or turn yeah. We'll keep this. If we top deck an Arbor Elf, that's going to be insane. Let's all think. Tusk, Tusk. That would be a good name for this. <laughs> good name for this list. I try to get away from. I love giving things cutesy names and double play on words and such. But for right now, again, we're playing um, Macabre because we can get it back at instant speed with Pulsar Marasa. It's a trick that's fun to do. Gain six life. Get rid of four cards in the graveyard. One of the few th times it's better to just throw it back in your hand than throw it on the battlefield, right? We've got a pretty lively next turn. Can at worst just activate pendant, play it and activate it. <laughs> yeah, so we might actually cast the macabre, right? All right, we are flooded here. Let's uh, sprawl here. I'll listen to mind stab here. We'll call black and really confuse them, right? Bonk. Do this. Only problem with that is then you you have to you wear down a lot of your clock doing this kind of stuff. We'll be acid moss in next turn. Right now we've got plenty of mana, so we might as well look into the future. Hey, we like that. Yeah, that's pretty good. We'll say top. That might end the game real quick. We've got three, four, five mana. Soon to be six with acid moss. We're gonna just probably get there naturally. And because we're maxed out here, I think I will. Um, oh, we said top deck. Never mind. It would be pretty dumb to uh, scry again, right? I'll just do it uh, second main here. Oh, to pick on the uh, mine or not? Hmm. All righty. Let's do this. Blowing up the mine. Go get a forest. 
look into the future after the fact. Don't want to do it now. What do they have here? Mm -hmm. Nice play. It stops us from doing stuff. We will look into the future. Three, four, five, six. We do kind of need that. I'll say top. The delight is all mine. <laughs> As we blow up Urza's mine. Woo! Crop rotation, the winning combination. AM, FM, music modulation. Here we go. Rapping on the mic is my occupation. That's what I like in a radio station. Alrighty, what are we going to do here? We've got nothing. Three, four, five, six. Let's look into the future. More. Oh. Drawn a little dead here. That'll help. Of course, we're almost there already. I'll say top. Dang it. If it dies, we got Marasa. Yeah, we've got that play. Hopefully they mess with their graveyard a lot this turn and we can uh, get rid of everything. Impulse. This is when it feels like they're going to slip away with it, doesn't it? They've weathered the storm. Crusher's probably going to get countered. Tron is activated. Let's see. I like how they're just keeping the map there for when our shenanigans show up. Claws of Wirewood. Maybe I shouldn't have taken them out. That would have been funny. Well, we know we're drawing the... Um, uh, Arbor Elf, which we need. Not too big of a worry here. We'll play the Elf. I'll scry now. Don't need that bottom. So we can, now we'll do the upkeep trick because I don't want to see a land. And we got rid of a Macabre there. We've got double Macabre technically here. Hopefully our Arbor Elf lives. We can start doing stuff next turn. Sure, like that pendant. We don't have the raw draw of like, you know, all the shenanigans with uh, Deadly Dispute and Reckner's Raid and, you know, all the, or Reckner's Bargain and Ren's Resolve. Every color seems to have a lot of stuff. So we're just going after maximum crush quality and then, man, you know, making sure that what we draw is good. It's not fluff because a lot of times you draw two cards, draw three cards and two of them you just don't even want. All right, we've, I'm going to just keep going after mine if we get a chance. So we've already blown up one. All right, let's see what we're going to get. Scribe. We've got eight men on board. Don't really care about this, so we'll say bottom. And we will draw a mystery card. Another pendant. Okay. Not the best. We'll do this to here. Play this. Crusher. Three, six. Just uh, impulse. Okay. What are we getting now here? I like that. Not a common, so no concern of mine. Probably found a cast down here. I don't even mind. You know, double pendant isn't all that bad when we've got all this mana, right? You look. Oh, don't like it. Look again. can really start turning through. So the um, a lot of cards will clash when you draw the same one, but not, not so here. We have a lot of mana. It only costs one to do it. Scrying for two every turn. That's pretty nice. If it happens, we'll see. Yeah, the Crusher's already hit. Oh, boy. God, I freaking hate this build of Tron. The, the horror build is my least favorite. Yep. Discard a card. Well, I guess we'll lose the Pendant. I already have one active. God, I hate this build so much.
All right, happily. Should we do it again? They just have a blink, you know. Let's blow up some land. I'm trying to dig out a flicker effect here. I'll probably flicker their land in the horror, and then we'll be able to. Oh, never mind. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we're going to see next turn. Don't want that bottom. Ugh, yuck. We still got the sneaky Marasa double fairy play. But uh, we're taking six a turn here, guys, so I think we're off to game three. This is Tron. We lost to Black Garden, beat Heroic, beat Red... Uh, Red deck, I'll just call it that. Hopefully we can beat Tron. Hey, uh, we take it here. Six, seven, eight. Yeah, we can do that on upkeep. Mm -hmm. Hey, remember Prism? Let's just reprint it better. Call it Energy Refractor. Right after we banned the other version of it. Yeah, I'm not too desperate for life there. I'm trying to think if there's anything that's really... There's not much in the graveyard worthy of the macabre play here, so... I think I just go like this. Ooh, after discussing use of multicolored creatures, here's a brew which needs still the lands and sideboard. Oh, it gives their thoughts. Oh, yeah, if you want to give a link to that. Cool. Well, let's... um. I don't mind this so much. Let's bring this out. We've got a blocker. Go get a Cross and Tusker, I believe. Or not. Maybe we get the uh, the other big boy, the Branch Golem here. This does trade with the uh, Denrobo Horror, and if they want to bounce it, that would be kind of funny. I think I'm just going to get the Tusker, though. Two, three... Cycle this. Always yield. Thank you for that, Ninchimski. Yeah, that's just to prevent people from spamming our channel. Some of our moderators will help you out there. Appreciate that. There we go. Hey, wow. We just drew it anyway, right? That's pretty cool. Let's see what we're going to draw. Don't need any land or enchantments. Help me out here. Come on, pendant. Let's go. And we're playing one artifact, just devoid of any artifact hate. We like this, but at this stage of the game, they've got double of everything. I'm going to say bottom. Isn't that weird? We're playing against Tron, and we just say bottom. So we're just going to block the horror and hopefully play the uh, Boulder Branch, but Unwind is just yet another one of those effects that just feels so unfair when you're when you're tapping for so much mana. We're kind of a similar style here. Their mana taps for a lot, and so does ours. They're playing every color under the sun, though. And as much as I hate Denrova Horror, I would never ban it. It's a very honest mana count for what it does. But man, it can get frustrating. Ah. Can you, uh, or whoever posted that, uh, die on the phone? If you can email me, propaganda at gmail.com if it's popper related. I'd love to see it. Destroy each enchantment and each other thing. Oh, no. We'll do this. We'll use it to get some life here. We'll get back the Tusker. Yeah, I think we'll get back Tusker. Gain six. Might get countered. Who knows? Nope. Okay, now we will want to do an upkeep look. We're going to have five, six mana. Hmm. Shielding blacks, yeah. <laughs> That's a card not many people know about. Simic, two and a green, red, blue, right? Yeah, I don't think we're going to wiggle out of this one. This deck's not too worried about that. I mean, as far as, like, enchantment hate goes, 
can't really beat us up with artifacts because we only play three. It's not really worth bringing in hate. You never know. All right. Well, we've got access to the golem. Let's see if we can pull it off. I'm sure we're just going to get countered here. We'll cast it and at least be able to trade with the Denrova. If they want to start bouncing it, that'll get pretty funny. Destroy. And we're back up to 20. This is my favorite time to be holding Fairy Macabre when you're totally tapped out. It just looks so... There you go. Yep, he's gone. Life total has been achieved. One more mana. I don't think I'll activate Pendant. Because if we top deck a land, we've got Crusher. We've already seen a cast down here. Okay. Sucks a little bit, but we don't have any Morasses in our hand, so don't really care about that. Technology. <laughs> like my technology word. Draw a card and discard. What's he getting rid of? They're looking for removal. We're back up at 20. I think we won game one, right? This is game two. Can't quite remember. I think we got that early concession. I didn't write down W. Come on, land. Or an enchantment. Hmm, or that. That's interesting. Or both. Let's just do this. Cycle. I love seeing this card. There's so many options that are six mana or more, but God, this is just thin your deck out. Go get a land and draw a card and bring it back with Marasa. Woo! Let's see what we're going to draw next. Hmm. Eh. I'll throw it on the bottom. It is a draw, but we'll do this to here. Get some edict food out. Go like this. Trumpeting herd. Boop. All right. Again, apologies to our Twitch viewers for that little delay. YouTube, I will hopefully splice it together. But it always adds a bit of delay. Oh, God. Oh, how I hate thee, Dinrova Horror. There would be a lot of value. I've got to keep that in. Uh, we've got enough mana. I'll get rid of that. I wish I could discard the token. That'd be funny how it puts it in your hand. Twitches. Let's go, let's go. What if I never answered my question if we were going to play Diablo 4? That music is hauntingly beautiful in that game. Okay, we're dead next turn if we can't block. Pretty sure they've got the rewind trick. Or maybe they've got a way of... Uh, they've probably got some sort of um, rebound effect here. We're probably going to game 3. I think we won the first one. Again, I didn't write it down, so... That's some sort of flicker effect, double bounce, and then we're screwed. Or just straight up cast down, right? Dark steel pendant. Uh oh, we're dead. I believe this is game one or two. Yep. This is an old school list, man. Ah, really wish I knew if, if they're playing. They've got to be playing Flicker with, with the, these critters here. All right. Let's see. Yep, yep. That was game two. Okay. Um, oh, come on. All right. I'm going to grab some more coffee, guys. That was a tie game, and then they quit. So we'll be back right after uh, some Innistrad trivia. Be right back.
and we're back. And we'll keep this. Woo, here we go. What's worse than Trond and Rova? A quitter. Got a nice accelerated hand here. Forest would be nice. Thank you, sir. Here we go. Land destruction would be nice. Another Tron. Hopefully it's a different pilot. I believe they were playing different art, so I'm pretty sure it is. I don't pay attention to what the names are usually. We'll just beat it twice. How's that? Come on, let's just top deck some acid moss. Let's go. All right. We're going to have a really quick crusher. I think we're going to win this game. Boop. Boop, boop, boop. Got a turn three crusher this game. That'll be fun. Let's see, four. I guess we can just do this and this. Let's just get another crusher. If they do have some sort of counter. I don't have any morasses yet, so we'll just go for the big boys. Do you want to do this effect? Yeah. <laughs> I want to pay three mana for a one one. Crusher. I have ten mana. On turn three. Take that, Tron. Mana even they will be jealous of. Do they have the natural? Let's see. All right. Hey, Seb McKinnon Forest. That, that's one of my least favorite pieces of his, though. It's still awesome. Just a little too balanced. Like the art director gave him too many notes. Oh, yeah, Dreamer Stingo. Yeah, it's about time I redid that promo. I was looking at the other one. It looked a little dated. I still have it for nostalgia's sake. And for variety. Put it up. But, yeah, it was one of the first uh, cross promotions we ever did. Oh, speaking of which, I'm glad I, you brought that up because I don't know why it reminded me. Oh, hey, Beowulf 661. Good to hear from you. First time chatter. Love watching the videos on YouTube. First time catching the stream. Do you do the art editing for a living? Your content looks so nice. Thank you so much for the love. And, yes, I cut commercials and movie trailers for a living. Ba, ba, ba. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Nimchimsky. Hey, your little how-to sheets come together nicely. Glad it's there. All right. Well, I guess we're going to go after the tower here. You know what? I hate white borders so much. I think I want to get rid of that power plant. We're going to pick on the power plant because it's white bordered, and you all know how much I hate those. Oh, this is nice. This is very nice. Can we just do everything here? Let me see. Do this. Do this. Do this. Do this. Do this. Nine. All right, we got Crusher. Wish we had Acid Moss, too. We'll just do it next turn. All right. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Here we go. Now we'll Acid Moss into the issue here with another Crusher behind it if they've got an answer. What to do with all this mana? We both have the same problem. Do they have another Crusher? Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. We have similar game plans. And we'll get rid of that power plant. Pronto! Alrighty. I'm just going to do this now. Kill. Forest. Open this up. And don't really have much of a plan outside of that, do I? I could do that for six. Let's do this instead. I'll just play this up. I wanted to play the crusher there. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's see. You don't need any mana. We'll say bottom. And you know, maybe be blocking with that. I don't know. Tough decisions. Got another one right behind it. Whoa! Respect that. Got a double block here. Maybe they just let this through. Now you got to kill the crusher. Can't keep sacrificing two things a turn. All right, we trade. We got a lot of Marasa targets. Good news here. We can uh, pendant on our upkeep. We will pick on power plants. When you're playing land destruction against Tron, try to keep it to one type. Usually it's the tower, but. Second you mix it up is when they, they find the one thing, right? 
We'll respect this. We got Marasa. That'd be nice to get this guy back and go get some big fatties. This is when the deck works good. It's been showing up the last few games. Actually, we've only uh, only we we only lost a black garden so far. We've won every other game. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> I'll just say top. Boom, boom. This will probably be a concession, I would think. Bonk. Boop, 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 boop. Two extra mana. Feeling good. No attackies. All right. Pull that one off. Tron again. Let's... Hope this one sticks around. If they don't, I'll play another. All right, we've got Tron. I don't think we have too many shenanigans to worry about. The Glamour might be good, seeing uh, what we've seen. We'll get rid of both Wirewoods. It's always nice to have a car that you kind of auto get rid of. I think I'm just going to roll it back like this, guys. If we see any graveyard interactions, this will be a game three. Dead joke. Number one. Uh We've got a few dad joke champions. I think Popper Tim's probably the leader. Is he in the chat today? I'm not sure. Well, we've got another honest hand. <laughs> By that, I mean totally dishonest. If they don't have any way of killing this Arbor Elf, this is going to get ugly quick. There's the mine. There's the map. They got a nice quick start, too. Good for them. Better for us. Woo! Here we go. I really want to challenge that black garden list again. I feel like I could get the jump on them, especially with those elephant tokens. And Here's the plan, Stan. I guess we'll go after the tower. It'd be typical. Need to pick a side deck. How's empty Geo meta going? <laughs> what kind of deck are you playing? I'm sure the chat can help you out. All right. Well, stop me if you've heard this one before. Whoop. Go green. I guess we could play the other one, right? Go green. Step here. Go like this. Kapow! Do we get a concession? Here we go. The ladies are getting loud. My wife's friend's childhood friend is over for an entire week. She was house-sitting for us while we were gone. Now we're just having a party weekend, so if you hear some siren songs in the background... It is them. Yuck, the white bordered one showed up. Damn. Ugly, ugly, ugly. Line destruction. No. All right. Uh, let's see. What's the most probable play? We'll get out some threats here. We'll do this thing here. We'll draw a card. Is a visionary better? Yeah, we could just play Tusker next turn. We'll just draw a card and see what we get. Hey, that's pretty good. All right. I won't complain. Anybody want to help him out with that deck list? Uh, Nimchimsky was nice enough to supply. Give them your opinion. If you want mine, send it to popaganda at gmail.com. Can't say I'll get right back to you, but I usually do. I had two or three people in the last three months send me something, and then I literally will. I, I don't always do this, but I had, I had a lot of time one day and was able to just have go over and, and adjust the deck and send them like an entire, like their version of the deck, but they went with my notes and stuff and downloadable and everything. And they were like, oh my God. So I was like, yeah, well, had a lot of time. So, okay, let's start making this fair again. We'll blow this up. Go get a land. Untap here. Let's do a Tusker. Cycle here. Can't be attacking into that 3-4. Soon we will. Is the power keeps swelling. Dun, dun, dun. We'll play the elf. We'll play this. And we'll just sit back and wait for the inevitable. What are you talking about, Mind Step Thrill? <laughs> uh. All right. Well, there you got it. 
Well, we lost to Black Garden, beat everything else. I feel like I should play one more game. Let's do it. Feeling good? We'll give you six. See how this goes. Temp fate, right? Woo! Really feel this curve is really good. Stumbled a little bit in that very first game. But, uh, yeah. I'm a real, real strong supporter of this style. Oh, must have an opponent because the interaction is slogging up. All right, here we go. Give you a bonus game six. How's that? Make up for that little digital disruption. Woo! This is a nice hand. Keep. I've gone as low as 11 lands in this build before. And uh, gets, you give away way too many games doing that. Ooh, it's a Delva. So our... What is it called? The... Uh, Ah, what's the card I'm talking about? Um, Claws of Wirewood. Maybe that'll make an appearance. We do have two mains, so three damage to everything that flies. Counting that your opponent flies. Ooh, do we block here? Definitely not now, because we can blow up a land. Got enough life gain. A Delver by itself probably won't be enough. Famous last words. I love the little pendant. We'll take it. Do they have another land? They don't. This might be brutal. Clicking very gently. Gingerly, I should say. Boop, boop, boop. They've almost got crusher math. This is early and often. That'll be three, four, five, six, seven, one off. Lightning Bolt. Okay. Well, our Arbor Elf probably won't live long, but I think we took away their ability to uh, do that. Let's see. Are we ra racing here? We've got plenty of time. All right. Well, let's... Uh, four. Yeah, I can do both. Might as well draw first. See if the plan changes, right? Yes. Well, that's pretty cool. We'll do this here. Target here. How are you guys liking this list? I, I dig it. Like I said, I was just, just back from my Wyoming vacation. I was like, I want to play something on theme and something big. There's not many elks in... Um, <laughs> let's see. This is uh, URW. All right, let's go to sideboard. Lots of good times with that turn, right? I believe we'll bring in scatter shots. I think fairies is going to be showing up early and often. Really like these. Really like these. We'll cut one tusker. Hmm. One Omog. We do have the three empaths. So this is at this mana rate. If they can ferry this away, then they probably got our, our number for the day. You know, my glasses are having the hardest time staying clean. Oh my gosh, I've got these other prescriptions that let me see far away, really up close. Oh, I was so, so happy I brought those. I think I'll get rid of one acid moss. Let's go. Seeing the, uh, the Teton, Grand Teton Mountains. Oh my goodness. If you're just joining us, watch the top of the show. I give a little bit better description of it, but it's pretty much about as close to Middle Earth as you can get. All right, we like this. We'll keep another land off the top would be ideal. Drop that pendant mid-game. That'll be pretty nice. Whoa, look at this. Tricknology. We're going to have a lot of fun with blowing that up. Boop, boop, boop. This will probably be the last time we see Arbor Elf. I'd imagine they're going to bolt it right away. And hopefully we just draw into a land, and then we can at least drop pendant after we Utopia Sprawl. Oh, okay, cool. It lives. Wow. Well, same plan. Even if we don't draw land, we can Utopia Sprawl tap pendant. Not the best, but we're here for the rest. Yay, Murphy Black with the Wiki Bear. Woo! Let's just do everything, shall we? Green. Bonk, 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 bonk. Eh, it feels weird wasting a mana, but I'm going to use my window while I got it. Keep our Arbor Elf alive. 
Next turn, let's see, three, four, five. Let's hope we just draw our basic land here. I think my problem in the past with building land destruction is I go all in, so I'll run like stone rains and the green package package or you know it's if you I think the lesson I've learned with land destruction is just use it as a disruptor and not the recipe, you know. Hmm. Do we want to draw here? I think I want to draw here. If we hit a land we can double visionary. That's not too bad. Plus it's ramp, you know. Give me a land. Hmm. Well, that's a bit frustrating. Um. This is likely to be countered. The pendant isn't. I'm going to put this on here. I'm going to call red just to confuse them. Make them think that we've got access to something we don't. Unless they're watching the stream. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Beowulf. Yeah, I, get, I just get super narrow-minded where I'm just like, tunnel vision, it's like, keep everything off the board right now. Yeah, this way we've still got quite a bit of mana. Three, four, five. That's that's doable. Probably walking right into a counter spell here. Fine with that. Hey, we can at least keep them honest though, right? Let's, um, hmm. I guess we'll blow up. Natural blue. Oh my kid, we'll, we'll, we'll target this and we'll drop the pendant. Counter spell. All right. Boop. Pendant. I'm not even going to activate it and just dropping it. I pretty much want to see everything that I could draw. So right now it's just a fluff play. You know, Popper's is so good at emptying its hand. I wonder if things like Black Vice would, would really disrupt the metagame if they were downshifted. That'd be a neat way to keep con control in check, right? <laughs> Bring that Black Vice. Hmm. Let's see if this goes. All right, we'll try the herd. Ugh, man, I hate that. No, no. <laughs> Should be a useless card against us, but it was a bit reckless there. I guess we'll pendant EOT. It's better than two damage. Miami Vice, my step they will bring it on the dad jokes pretty hard. Man, it'd be so cool to draw our uh, Claws of the Wirewood here, especially if this flips. I think our opponent might be out of counter magic here, unless they reveal it. Still feel pretty good. Anybody like under 30 is like, what? What does that mean? Unholy Heat showing up. One of the two cards in their hand. Two damage to creature or planeswalker, or it does six damage if there are four types. Wowza. Creature or play or planeswalker. <laughs> I said player, sorry about that. I was like, whoa, that's really good. Yes, it's a foil. This was before it was available. I know there's the new one. What set is the new one from that is just natural? So I gotta get me some of those. I forget which fan gifted me four of those. Oh gosh, I got completely off track. Um, when Popaganda first started, I did a card contest, or Little Fight and I did, um, where you take pictures in real life of, of the cards, and kind of want to do that again. Um, I'll say top. I don't know why I scryed if I, I pretty much want to see everything right now. We need some life. We need just about everything. Let's do this first. Um, but I'm trying to think, if does any would anybody be willing to like donate like a really nice card, like a snuff out or something, if somebody's got like... I know it's a big ask. Um, I'm always digging in. Uh, last time we gave away a daze. And uh, I'm, I'm thinking I might re-release that contest. It's been like s seven years. 
what the deal was is you take you find like artwork in a magic card and then you find it something that looks like it in real life and then we kind of cross compare them there's a really old promo sorry i didn't give you a heads up shiraz modern and chimsky about this but if you go way back in our videos we did one and um i think uh eli grill God, why do I remember his name? One, the first one he did on Earth, and it showed his hand coming up out of the snow, and he designed the background like it. So that one won the first one. Had some really good, like Urza's, somebody took up a shot of a power plant, and it was like Urza's tower. Um, but well, that's out of nowhere. I guess one of the few times Nimble Mongoose is actually a pretty good card here. Okay, we will be uh, scrying here, because, well, let's see. Now, if we draw a crusher, we just take it. Uh, the chances of that, though, I'd, I'd rather pendant to make sure we don't hit another land here. Let's do that. Boop, boop. What do we see? I'll say bottom. Deck's trying to screw me over. See that? All right. Play another one. We're dead really soon. If we don't draw something good, that is not something too good. We'll play it, though. We'll keep them thinking that we've got some sort of red trick. We do not. We're just going after the card draw here. Wow, that's a dead draw. Oh boy, this is ugly. We'll put this on, we'll call green, and we'll smash over. Maybe we trade with the mongoose, maybe not. I don't think we're getting out of this one. I feel like a lightning bolt to the face is just gonna finish this off. And now a Claws of the Wirewood is gonna kill us. Yeah, it's one of the few times I think Nimble Mongoose might be a good call. They've really built around this, um, what's that mechanic? Delirium. Yeah, that, that fits really nicely with the mongoose. Just a tough strategy overall when you, everybody has uh, ways of uh, getting rid of graveyards. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, Claws will kill us now, though, Dreamer Stango. Uh, Marasa. Let's go. Or the Golem. Nope. All right, I should have scryed. I just kind of... Let's see what the next card was in case I did scry. It'd be really nice if it was a land. Then I'll know. Draw a card. Of course. I don't know why it doesn't do that anymore. All right. Here we go. We got killed by flyers. Not much to do. Would have been nice if this guy showed up. All right. We've got. Should we bring in another Marasa? I like these. I think we're good. Let's go. Won the first one, lost the second one. Yeah, so we lost a garden, beat Heroic, beat Red, the Red Deck, beat Tron, beat Tron. So having a good day. A few hiccups. Yeah, I want to play first. Let's open this up. Boy, that looks flooded, and it is. So this is pretty much, this is like a mulligan. So we've got one, two, three, four, five out of, we're going to mulligan this. All right, we'll keep this. We've got our nice little surprise card. Claws of Wirewood deals three damage to each creature with flying and each player. Be careful. We would have killed ourselves last turn. But never a dead card because you can cycle it. We'll keep. We are very flooded. We'll get rid of a land. With this kind of a hand, one mana is enough. Let's just hope our Arbor Elf lives. We don't really have land destruction on the line, but we can really go get that empath going. Probably get a Tusker to really speed things up. I don't think Macabre is, is worth it there, Dreamer Stango. I just wouldn't want to be seeing it. All right, we like that. Damn. We'll sprawl here. Call green. And uh, do, do a bunch of stuff. I'll take a chance. We'll bring this out. Actually, with our mana the way it'll be if our stuff isn't messed with, I think Crusher might be the right call here. Yes, I want to use the ability. Good lord. So that'll be two, four, six, seven. If we top deck a land, we've got it. So let's just bring out the Crusher now. Drop the Elf. That's a pretty mean start. This is turn two. We've got access to two, four, six, seven mana, maybe eight. Turn three, Crusher. Not to see that. Yeah, they might have to just sit back and respect that we've got it in hand. There it is. Do we just walk into it like we've got it? I'm going to do it. I'm not going to live in fear. Bonk. It's probably going to get countered. 
Okay. I got a Marasa target. They're down a counter. I never like that stagnation or stultification play where you just sit back and live in fear of this. It's like, get rid of it. We got ways of getting it back. We might top deck another one. Might get another empath. We might get a wide open view like this. Or we can just attack for three. Not ideal. Well, that's odd. Why would you bring in D Glamour against me? Like this, because this way we can attack still, do the thing. We got lots of good pressure here. So even like a cannonade effect isn't going to get rid of the elephant tokens. And uh, going to buy a lot of turns, and Modern Age can't block it. I'm telling you, three threes are really mean and popper. That would that would have been sweet mind stab throw. I'd love to see that. Ah, so yeah, now that we got a lot bigger reach. I mean, gosh, back when we did the first card contest, we had like three hundred subs. <laughs> now we're getting close to eight thousand, so we might get a lot more. It's just a fun thing to have. But I just I'm wondering what the the prize should be. You know, maybe a snuff out or. So if you're watching this on YouTube, reach out to propaganda@gmail.com if you if you feel the need. We'll obviously give you a huge shout out, we'll do the promo, and give you all the credit. Or if nobody steps up, then I guess I'll just have to foot the bill. All right, I like this. Let's play this here. Just got so much on board here. It feels like this is our game already. Yep. Just the threat of this. Being in our hand. Yep. All right. Yeah. Even if, I mean, what's the option? They sit back and counter, and then they just start taking like nine of the face every every turn. So these elephant tokens are nothing to sneeze at. Um, I really, really, really stand by and like this list, especially now that we've done this little trick here. Um, but yeah, sleeve it up. Give it a go. Um, like I said, I think you can do this for 21 tickets, if I'm not mistaken, what it says on our little link there. But um, a lot of fun, not too much land destruction. You usually can't shut people out, but as we saw, we, we, we can usually get enough uh, close call damage. And our, our, our big boys, we've got three crushers, the, the life golem and the two tuskers. Um, again, there's so many ways you can build this. I'm sure YouTube channels is just going to be filled up with, what about this? Did you think about this? Yes, I did. Um, it's fairly easy to sort all creatures that cost six or more so that you can fetch them with um, Fierce Empath. And you'll quickly know, like I said, there was a spider that comes into play with Flash, and there's a lot of cutesy stuff, but in the end, it's just about what works. And we've got, you know, life, acceleration, you could call it deceleration, being able to kill your opponent's uh, stuff. And then just this trump trumpeting herd is just so good. As you saw, before you know it, it's just like six, nine a turn, 12 a turn. It gets, it gets pretty crazy. A lot of value for four mana, especially if you're not against control and it lives. Or even if it gets a, eats a lightning bolt, you still get a 3-3 out of the deal, you know, they, unless they use two lightning bolts, and then you're, you're up a card. So anyway, guys, again, apologies for that little uh, hiccup. I'm going to hopefully be able to fix the newest thing with Little Fight. It might be the same thing where it's a little audio hiccup issue with all the videos that I roll to and stuff over the years. So we will be back same time, same place. How good is Pennant, really? Um, to answer your question, it's really good in this list. Um, we've got a lot of mana and nothing to do with it sometimes, and you can get stuck drawing either this, this, or this. And you can just shove it on the bottom. It's, it's good enough that we added a second one. I uh, really like seeing it in this list. I don't think it belongs in many lists, but uh, this sort of all-in mana-hungry uh, decks, I really, really like it. So um, what have we learned? Yeah, we've learned that Dark Deal Pendant deserves two spots in this one. So anyway, guys, we'll see you same. Uh, <laughs> we'll see you here on Twitch next Saturday as usual. Until then, play lots of popper. I'll probably play a lot of you later on. And yeah, what shall we go out with? How about some parlance? Popper parlance? Get your vocabulary up. We'll see you next week, guys. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.